Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for the ever elusive track review where I come onto this channel and talk to you about, about, about a newly released song, but in this review, songs, two tracks, freestyles, remixes that were dropped this past Friday. They're both titled Black Friday and they're from two different artists Mr. Kendrick Lamar and Mr. J. Cole, two contemporary rappers who can't really not get mentioned in the same breath. Mostly because both of them occupy a similar space in the current hip-hop consciousness where they're both attached to social issues. They're both known to deliver some very thoughtful lyricism. This has drawn a lot of comparisons, some of which have been made by me, and also fueled a lot of debates over who's better, which one's the greatest artist. And then after that, there's also fantasies. Fantasies of some kind of full-length, massive, large-scale collaboration. In this past Black Friday, we might have gotten a hint that that collaboration may be happening with these two tracks. Early next year, February, if we are to go on one of the lines, the closing lines from this J. Cole Black Friday track, where he seems to be referencing that people can't handle a collaboration between him and Kendrick, but it's about to get scary in February. In a lot of ways, Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole are this decade's most deaf and Talib Kweli and them collaborating together on a full-length project, that, that could be this decade's Black Star. Now with these two Black Friday tracks, Kenny and Cole, they just traded two beats from their latest projects and they rapped over one another's beats. And the vibe that I get from these two tracks is not so much that it's a competition as much as it's a collaboration. It's two different rappers creatively enticing fans, getting people excited, delivering some new content without feeding directly into the meme machine as a lot of newer rappers do. Looking at you, Drake! Looking at you feeding into that meme machine! Hey man, I got memes too, what are you gonna do? On Kendrick's side of this collaboration, he delivers uh, again his very expressive, ever-changing flow. One moment during his freestyle, he's breaking down emotionally. He makes reference in this verse to his last album where he flew together rock and roll and black soul, as well as jazz fusion and trap. The speedy flow he goes into once he drops that higher power bar, that moment in the song is incredibly dense, amazing. One line that sticks out is that he's rolling deep in the paper like two Adele's. The handful of lines he drops about voting for Kanye for president and then going wild in the White House and then uh, the, the final bars on this track where he's really going in. He says himself he's going to slay it. Kendrick really holds nothing back on this verse. I can't really say it's uh, controversial like his infamous control verse was, but he delivered the talent level that I as a listener of his have come to expect up until this point. Now as far as J. Cole's side of this collaboration, I think there aren't as many any quotables here, honestly, nor is he making verses that are as densely packed as what Kendrick did on his Black Friday cut. However, he is more charismatic than I think he was on a lot of the songs from his last project. And there are some lines that had me just going, whoa! Like if I quote it, I wrote it, whoa! As well as uh, one line about how there are no snakes in the grass because he mowed it, whoa! The final moments on this track, especially during the spot where he's rapping about the collaboration him and Kendrick can't have, he really picks up the flow, picks up the intensity, he ends it strong, even though I'm not totally following his logic during that part where he's talking about how he's paid enough taxes to fund Japan, whatever, just kind of felt like he was reaching on that line and just threw in a country, any country that would have fit his rhyme scheme at that point. And then we have the second third of the song that I think, um, I don't know, after this little interlude where Cole is doing a lot of singing, really would have rather some rapping, but he's singing and, uh, I feel like it's a bit of a dead zone here, especially as he says he sold out the Staples Center and he's talking about money, but simultaneously, when other rappers talk about money, that's just because they don't have anything else to talk about. Well then what are you doing? I don't know. Especially as he delivers a line right after where he says he's got suicide doors, slit his wrists. Not the best verse I've heard from Cole, but certainly likable. 
I'm just, once again, kind of mild on a track that he's delivered. He just doesn't blow me away. He doesn't give me those hard, thoughtful, energetic punches like Kendrick usually does, but still, I see the talent level, I recognize it, I respect it, and I don't think a collaboration with him and Kendrick would necessarily be bad. They're two distinct voices, two very different sides of a similar coin, and I could see them working together really well. J. Cole's directness might benefit Kendrick a little bit because he does tend to be a little heady and he does tend to need some reading into to really understand what he's saying and Kendrick's energy and ambition and tendency to just kind of push things to another level could certainly give J. Cole a different angle. So I like these tracks. Favoring the Kendrick track though, sorry to all the J. Cole fans and all the people out there who hate me for uh, just enjoying Kendrick's music so much. <laughs> just, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I just, I just, preferences, man. Preferences. I don't know. Ugh. Having said that, what did you think of these two tracks? Which do you prefer? Are you preferring Cole's, preferring Kendrick's? Do you like both of them equally? And are you anticipating a full-length collaboration of some sort, a mixtape, an album? And if it happens, what is the likelihood that it would be great, amazing, gramazing? Let me know your thoughts. You're the best. Anthony Fantano, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Tran. Zishin, have you given these tracks a listen and what do you think about them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar.